I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore inverse of quadratic function. The question here is determine equation of inverse and write domain range of inverse of f of x equals to 0.5 times x plus 1 whole square plus 6. Now let's write down the function first which is f of x equals to 0.5 I prefer to write in fractions x plus 1 whole square plus 6. Now to find inverse, we actually swap x and y. So that is the first step. So I'll write x equals to half y plus 1 whole square plus 6. So first step is swap x and y, correct? That is the first step. And then, then we have to solve for y. So these are the steps to be followed. To solve for y, we'll take away 6. We get x minus 6 equals to half y plus 1 whole square. Now multiply by 2. x minus 6 equals to y plus 1 whole square. Now square root. So whenever you square root, do plus and minus. 2 times x minus 6 equals to y plus 1. And now take away 1 this side. So 1 will be with negative. Plus and minus square root. 2 times x minus 6 square root is equals to y. So that is how you can quickly get the inverse of this particular function. You will note that inverse is not a function since it has two values. So, so what we note is that inverse is not a function, right? So any parabola, inverse is not a function. Now a question for you here is, we'll do the domain range part also. Question for you is, how can you restrict how can you restrict restrict domain of f of x to ensure that f inverse x is a function, right? So that is your question, which you can do. Now let us look into domain and range, okay? Domain and range. So let me first write domain and range of the function itself. For function fx is a quadratic function, so domain is x belongs to real numbers. So always x belongs to real numbers, and the range for the quadratic function is y belongs to real numbers, but it has an absolute minimum since it opens upwards, right? So this opens upwards, so we need to find the vertex, which is at minus 1 and 6. So 6 is the minimum value, so it is greater than or equal to 6. That is what it is. Now let's consider the inverse. Now in inverse, always these things switch. So in inverse, uh, the domain should be that part. So we'll first write x belongs to real numbers, where x is greater than or equal to 6, and the range is this part y belongs to real numbers, where y, be I mean, y belongs to real numbers, okay, no restrictions. So that is the range, right? So always just swap and write it down, okay, that's the best thing. And of course, when you, when you sketch it, you can always sketch, because of this plus and minus, it stretches both sides, so the range has no restriction. But I hope you remember, you need to answer this question. How to restrict this function so that the inverse becomes a, function also. In this case, inverse is not a function. And once you do that restriction, then write domain and range. So then write for this, your function, write domain and range, right? I hope that will give you good practice and understanding of this topic. Thank you.